Howdy! Welcome back to RuneScape's Reviews. This time I'm looking at Bumblebee from the Classics range. He didn't get an alternator format, but this is probably the closest thing we'll get to one. The vehicle mode is... Well, actually I'm not sure what it is. It's not a Volkswagen, because apparently they don't want their cars associated with war toys. That's presumably why Bumblebee couldn't be an alternator. Yes, these toys are real weapons of mass destruction, aren't they? Well, whatever it is, it's fairly small in size, which is appropriate for the character, as is the colour scheme used. A bit dull, but still. Perhaps he doesn't have alternator features or details, but I like the seats moulded into the design. Stability is very good, at least for the car itself. The trailer accessory can be placed here, as you can see, but it doesn't hold on that well all the time, and if you move the car sometimes it comes loose, although not now. <laughs> Transforming him is fairly simple, like most classics. It's practically reminiscent of the original Bumblebee. This goes in there. this open, flip it up, put his arms down, there we go. The mini trailer becomes quite a nifty jetpack I must say and it eliminates the gap problem in his back. as you can see now. There we go. In robot mode, Bumblebee looks pretty cool, I must say. The head in particular is nicely sculpted and cartoon accurate. Like with G1, the front of the car becomes the legs, but I also like how the seats become shin guards. He does have some car kibble such as the doors on his arms and the hood on his legs, but that's not much of an issue really. The jetpack, as I said, looks quite nifty, and aside from eliminating the gap problem, I also think it was to compensate for the lack of a weapon, which is odd, because his hands look like they're meant to hold one, as you can pretty much see here. He's also appropriately smaller than most classics, other than Cliff Jumper, obviously. Finally, the famous rub symbol is on his chest. You really need warm hands for it to work, though. So, overall, a very nice figure, and in, as I said, it's practically the unofficial Bumblebee alternator. Those who want a more visually interesting version of the mold will probably want Cliff Jumper instead. Otherwise, I strongly recommend him. That's all for now. I'll be back with another review ASAP. But until then, till all I want.